Hi everybody and welcome to this week's In Wheel Time Through Your Eyes video review of the 2013 Dodge Dart. This is the rally version, about middle of the road as far as trim levels are concerned for the Dodge Dart. And I'll tell you what, if you can't see this coming, then you can't see orange barrels on the road. This is orange, ladies and gentlemen. This is called header orange from Dodge, and this will blind you, I think, doesn't it? Uh, this is a really cool little car built of the Alfa Romeo Giulietta platform, and I wanted to show you the size of the trunk in this. Now, this is a compact car, according to all of the specs, but look at that. I mean, you can get golf clubs back there and plenty of them. So there's plenty of room in this. They call it a compact, but again, this is uh, at the max end of the compact. The Alfa Romeo Giulietta platform has a beautiful ride to it. And this is good looking from the back too. Now this one here has the 1.4 liter, 160 horsepower turbocharged engine. And as you can see, really good looking chrome tipped dual exhaust. Let's take a look on the inside real quick here. I think you're gonna like this. Now this one only has the cloth seats, but that's not a bad thing. You know, I like cloth, especially here in Houston. Not so big on the black, but I'll tell you what, I'll take the cloth because it sure is a lot cooler in the summer here. Take a look at this dash. They've done some work here, ladies and gentlemen, all soft touch materials. And you'll also notice right around here, there's just a little bit of a space. Can you see that where I put in my finger? Well, at night, all that lights up and it really does look nice. It's got a little red tint to it. Uh, this has the optional 8-inch uh, Uconnect screen in it. That's an option. And uh, it has uh, changeable stuff here on the dash. As you can see, we can go through many of the things that everybody wants to know about, including fuel mileage. Now, I've had this car for a couple of weeks. And as you can see here, I'm getting with the combined highway, uh, city highway driving 26.7 MPG, which is plenty, especially with the little turbocharged engine in it. Now, it's also got the automatic transmission. I would not suggest just getting the automatic with the turbo because it really does highlight the turbo lag in it. I would love to have the manual transmission in this. If you want to get the automatic, then stick with the 2 liter, which is the base engine. It also has 160 horsepower, but it doesn't have quite the turbo lag. Okay, as far as uh, pricing is concerned on this car, let's take a look here. Base price on this, this uh, again is the uh, Rally. It starts at $17,995. Plenty of options here as well. Uh, it's got the special automatic dual clutch, dry dual clutch uh, transmission. It's got uh, the big tail lamps, as I mentioned to you uh, earlier. And it's also got Sirius XM, and it's got the $400 wheel option on it as well. There's gas mileage, 31 combined, 27 city, 37 highway. Way. And as far as total drive out price on this, expect to pay about $24,390 on the window sticker. As far as uh, competition is concerned, look at the Ford Focus, Mazda 3, and Hyundai Elantra if you're out shopping. But this is at the top of the list. I'll tell you, I like this car. Give it a 5 out of 5 stars. That's it for this week's Three Rise video review here at In Wheel Time. I'm Don Armstrong. Have a great week. We'll check back with you next week.